Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is BT Plays here and today we are on the Crew Motorfest and as you can see it does look very very nice and it is a street tier 2 vehicle as well so let's just get straight into the performance, the customization and all of the good stuff. So firstly the price, I did buy this thing in a bundle, came to about 660 uh, thousand crew bucks so it was around 330 if you obviously split the two vehicles in half so 330k for this vehicle we'll see if it is worth it but firstly the customization definitely a strange front to this vehicle i like the side of it just the front is a bit strange i'm not sure why obviously a classic gray um mclaren uh, not McLaren, Mercedes, <laughs> otherwise they're McLaren. A classic grey Mercedes is like obviously the go-to, except for matte. Matte grey is a no-go. You just can't see it in any other colour, can you? If I go to like standard, you just can't see it in like a pink or a yellow or a green or a blue. It's just wrong. It's so wrong other than grey. Even white, mm, this doesn't look great. Black as well doesn't look great. We're going to keep the grey. Um, because they actually did a good a good job on that paint job. So we're going to go for visual parts. We have four hoods. I do not like the carbon at all. The grey and the black just don't go well. So which one are we going to go for? I sort of like the standard one. I might be a bit basic here, but the standard one is probably the best one here. Um, we're going to keep the standard one on. Eight front bumpers to choose from. That's not looking good so far. It's definitely not looking great. We'll go for this one. I'm going to keep the tinted headlights off. We have two front fenders as well. That's decent. A little bit of what carbon or is that just black at the side? I do like that. Rims we're going to keep as they are. Uh, calipers to red. Side mirrors. Oh, oh I don't like the carbon on the grey. Still, I'm going to keep it as it is. Rear fenders. We'll get that as well. Three rear wings. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Should I get the big boy or should I get like the, the smaller little brother? I might get the smaller little brother, you know. Let's switch it up. Why not? We have also 12 rear bumpers as well. These are good. These are very nice, actually. Uh, we're going to go for... Oh, I'm kind of split between... I do really like that. I really like the back of this car. We're going to go for the tinted rear headlights and no interior okay that's fine but this is the vehicle the front looks even worse now <laughs> um but let's get straight into the performance you obviously can change the livery and vanity items if you wish to as well but 750 parts all round because this thing is a street tier 2 vehicle so let's put them 750 parts on and this thing now has a top speed of 224 miles per hour has a 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds, brake distance 60 to 0 is 19.1 yards, and it has 828 horsepower as well. Enough of me talking, let's test out this vehicle. I'll tell you one thing that sort of annoys me about this game is the fact that there's no like proper street racing events that you can like, you know, replay on repeat, especially for me because I test out loads of vehicles so. It just makes sense for me to have just a street racing or a street tier, um, you know, sort of playlist just full of street tier events that I can just go to at any time. But I can't ask for everything, can I? So let's just get straight into the, uh, this event. I don't know what it's called, but let's just get straight into this event and see if this vehicle is any good, shall we? Let's listen to it. Sounds quite basic, won't lie. And the back of it is very nice. And this thing, why is it so slow? Why is it so slow off the mark? I have no clue, but we are off now. And let's get some speed going, shall we? Five out of five difficulty, of course. So let's see if this thing is up for it, shall we? But yeah, the back is actually quite nice. The front, on the other hand, may be uh, a different story, but let's see how this thing handles. Sorry, whoever that was, Donald. But this thing's quite, this is quite fast, I won't lie. It feels quite fast anyway, handling wise as well. Ooh. We've got another turn coming up as well. Let's see how this feels now. Okay. Okay, maybe too much. <laughs> maybe a little bit too much. We went off, but it feels quite nice. Definitely feels a lot better than some of the uh, street racing vehicles I've tested out. Fred is getting away from us. Let's see if we can catch him up, if we can. But here we've got another corner. 
Oh, yeah. Feels very decent. The brakes as well are also pretty good. Oh, right, Drake, mate. I mean, Duke. I thought his name was Drake. Don't have my glasses on. Don't blame me. Duke. How did I mess that up? Drake and Duke. I'm sorry. We are catching up to Fred here now. Got some windy roads. This thing is keeping up with an R8. This thing is very... Not an R8. Is that an R8? That is an R8, isn't it? And I have absolutely crashed. Rewind. <laughs> rewind. <laughs> you never see me use a rewind ever, guys. Ever. But no, this thing, yeah. It's actually keeping up with an R8 until that crash. But now it is. <laughs> I wonder how. We're even drifting a little bit there. And now we're overtaking Fred. No, we're not. Got us. But no, this thing is actually pretty good. I don't lie, I was not expecting much because it doesn't look like the fastest car. And what is Fred doing? What's what, what's he doing? He's absolutely just... Okay, how has he come out ahead of that? I don't understand what he's done. And he's, he's come out ahead, okay. But yeah, this vehicle doesn't look like the fastest car in the world. And it doesn't look like the best at handling, but I was wrong. I was very wrong. Especially on them windy bits down there. It was quite easy to use and easy to handle, which is not something you say every day about a street racing vehicle. But first is what we get. Lovely stuff with the help of our trusty friend, the rewind feature. But yeah, a decent performance overall. So let's get straight into the final verdict of this vehicle so customization wise as you know let's do the price so the price was about 330k for this vehicle i'm not sure how much it is normally i think it's around four five hundred k which is quite a lot for a street tier 2 vehicle was it worth it for the price for 330k yes definitely definitely for 330k maybe a little bit more maybe not um customization wise wasn't great I just don't know, I just didn't like the customization. It looks decent from this side and this side and this side, but from there, not so much. But yeah, the customization wasn't really all that great. The performance, it was actually pretty good. It was very solid, actually. Um, it was quite fast, and the handling was actually quite surprising how good it handles. The brakes were also pretty decent as well. So out of 10, I'm going to give this vehicle... I'm going to give an 8 four out of ten very good like value for money i think very good value for money 330k nice yeah that's all i can say is nice <laughs> but no genuinely this was a very solid vehicle and if you have used this vehicle tell me what you think of it down below in the comment section and while you're down there don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new and i will see you in the next video